It's good to be back, folks. In case you can't tell, I'm back in the MTB crib. It's been a long journey. It's been very, very long since I've been back here. I've been gone for probably around 14, well, actually more than that, over two weeks. I also have a very important announcement before I get into yet another Bali Hong Kong video. That big announcement is that on April 30th, that's coming up very soon, myself and the rest of the Googans will be at the, what is this, the Roger? Rogers, Arkansas Walmart. I'll leave the address linked in the description below, or I guess that link, but I'll just leave it in the description below. So you guys can check it out there. I hope to see a lot of you guys there. And I, what, what else am I hope? Oh, and I hope you guys are excited for the rest of the videos to come. I seriously hope you guys are looking forward to that. On that note, enjoy today's video. Oh, also, uh, one quick thing. If you're interested in purchasing this new shirt, I'll leave a link in the description below as well. Fish, that's all it is. Oh, also, new rigged hats on the rig store along with these. These are both from the rig store. That will also be on the store. All that, let's push it aside. Enjoy today's video. day two here in Flores. Had a beautiful night's sleep on this boat. I think I sweat about a gallon. Um, Sam sweat about two gallons. He was in the bunk below me. I'm gonna start this vlog off here in kind of the earliest morning. We all woke up around 5.30, around 6. We ate breakfast and then 6.20, 6.30. We got off on this village nearby that we were sleeping last night. Pretty amazing experience. I don't really know if it was planned or if it was just something our guide wanted to take us on, but we went through I mean, a local village, and it was uh, definitely different. I don't think any of us were kind of expecting that or knew that we were gonna go through that. Now we are gonna do some snorkeling. That's one thing that was on the agenda for this entire trip, and we've just pulled off on a little beach, beach-looking thing, and we're gonna snorkel. I have never snorkeled before, so this is gonna be great. Enjoy. <laughs> Snorkeling was the best. That was a pretty cool experience. Never snorkeled before. Not gonna lie, I was a little bit nervous, but it was fun. After like watching those fish swim around and kind of like circle and feed on the bottom, it's kind of got me in the mood to try to fish. I'm gonna take some of the tackle that Sam, Perrick, and I bought in Hong Kong and try my luck, see if I can pin some fish down. Perrick's already caught a few fish and had like one hammerhead shark chase his lure, so I'm gonna try this. We're in an area where fishing's good, so why not give it a go? All right, throwing the GoPro chest mount on. I'm gonna get after. That works. There we go. We're set. I'm leaving the SS Princess. I'm gonna go find some fish or shark or eel. Anything really, I just wanna find something. Oh, 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 I got a fish chasing. I got a fish chasing already. Whoa. That was insane. Oh, there it is, it's a houndfish, it's a houndfish. First cast, you guys, and I had a little houndfish, or as you guys call them, needle nose, chase up my bait. I'm just using like a little tiny top water. It's actually a storm lure, a bait that we don't have in the States. Oh, did I have one? What was that? Oh yeah, I'm getting chased. Oh, I'm on, I got one, I got one, I'm on. <laughs> Look at this, what is it? Don't hold me accountable to their names, but that's my first one, first ever. Flores fish. It's really pretty too. Oh my gosh. Magnificent colors. Okay, gonna get him unhooked and put him back. That was quick. 
totally different fish this time. Oh my God, he's got some chompers. Holy smokes, look at this guy's freaking mouth. What even is this thing? Oh my God, <laughs> spooky ass little dude. Come here, come here. Look at that guy's freaking chompers. I'm gonna put you back, dude. Oh man, <laughs> this is so cool. I'm like micro fishing on a reef right now. Top water fishing for micro fish. Quite possibly the exact opposite of the GT fishing we were doing just a few days ago. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Oh, I'm on. Oh, another one of those little guys. Same fish as the first one I caught. These guys are pretty and they absolutely, they do, they murder this little topwater bait. If you guys can identify any of the fish species I catch today, let me know. This is number one, the one after that, or I guess before that was number two. So just comment in the comment section below. I'm really curious. I don't know anything about saltwater or this area. Some tips would be appreciated. Oh, see little dude, he kind of released himself there. Before I keep going, before I like absolutely geek out even more, I'm gonna go over some of the tackle that I'm using today. For those of you guys who don't know or haven't watched the channel too long, I'm not a saltwater angler. I absolutely love it. I think it's the coolest thing on earth, but I just, I didn't grow up in saltwater. I grew up in Midwestern Illinois. So I'm basically guessing here and guessing can sometimes be good because it like refreshes your mind and you don't get so stagnant on one pattern. But right now I'm throwing like this very tiny spook bait this is a chinese or i believe japanese storm lure it's got two trebles little pink with chrome the reel is a size 3000 so i can fit a ton of braid on here if i were to get something big i have a lot of lot of line for that fish to peel out with and run with so we're not only fishing for little fish i mean if i hook into a big one i'm, I'm well equipped and this rod is actually a squid rod that i picked up in china i think it was at a tackle store called tackleberry it's an eight six so i'm able to sling out little tiny lures super far as you can see there, and I can get some good distance because that flat goes all the way out to basically where you can't see it anymore. And I'm trying to cast around on the edge, I'm just bringing it across, that's all I'm doing. The axe I'm using to catch some of these little micro fish, these micro reef fish, is that kind of twitch, 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 pause, burn it across the water. I mean, these fish are not, are not timid. I mean, this water's really, really warm, so they're used to chasing down fish and they're high energy in the first place. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's how I'm catching these fish. I know some of you guys are curious, so I figured, hey, let's go over the basics. Whoa, these rocks are slippery AF. Fishing, in my opinion, was success. We are gonna, we're going to one more spot, right? We're going to one more, one more? Different island? Yeah, different island. So we snorkeled, found the fish snorkeling, picked up our rods, caught the fish that we saw while we were snorkeling, and we're gonna try one more spot. Then from there, we gotta go back to Bali, and then we spend, I feel like I've already said this a thousand times, then we spend the night in Bali, essentially. But this was cool. By far the most unique thing I think I've ever done, other than seeing the Komodo dragons. Those two go hand in hand. Amazing. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I Back of the marina. It's coming to a full circle here. Um, sucks, man. I wish we had more time here in Komodo, but at the very least, we got. To a little taste of it. Great crew, absolutely uh, awesome captain, awesome guide. Definitely one of the most memorable experiences of my entire life. Now we need to go back to Bali and catch a flight. Are we live? Because it zoomed in on my face. Zoom it out, zoom it out. No, no, now you're good. What's up, chillers? Back on the plane. Where yo, are we going? yo, yo, where we're going. Are we going? Uh, we've decided to take a huge detour. We're actually gonna go to Antarctica now. Psych. Psych. We got you. We got you. I have a sunburn. Made it to Bali. I smell like shrimp, salt water, and Swamp ass. Uh, what's the goal, Parrot? What's the move? We need what? We need two things. What's the second one, Sam? Uh, showers? Yeah, two things. And a dang meal. And then we're going to bed. Um, but we're here in Bali. Bali round two. So that's pretty much it. I kind of sucked it up after that. I got really tired. Um, I actually had probably one of the worst sunburns in my entire life. This is what well, viewer discretion advised, but this is what my back looked like. I didn't realize that uh, you need sunscreen when you snorkel because your back's to the sun. Anyway, absolutely destroyed my back. It was a mess and I just wasn't in the mood to vlog. I was hurting pretty bad. So that's kind of why the video cut off. I just, there wasn't much else going on. But uh, at the very least, I filmed one more day after this and this last day was super unique and super awesome to me. So 
on that note, thank you guys so much for watching yet another China, Hong Kong, Bali, Komodo video. As always, keep fishing, never stop.